I've tested the slime samples. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. A pox in an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest foe. Your service will be recognized. How? Will I get a toad-shaped medal? The army's not got any medal like that. Geralt? Are you all right? What's that on your face? Long story. <clears throat> We're conducting important business. You can catch up later. Uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. Shouldn't take long. Tasty number, that medic. Not like a scholar at all. Interesting. Curious to know, what do scholars look like to your mind? Uh, well, all that reading's hard on the eyes, right? So they wear spectacles. Oh, aye. Thick ones, propped on wrinkled noses, and their clothing frumpy at best. Who've they got to dress up for? The books? Fascinating, really. But if I were you, I'd make sure no medic ever overhears you. Huh? Why's that? Because when you get caught in a battle, she might just refuse to stitch you back up. You're a lucky bastard, witch, you? We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us. Isn't that right? Admit it. You fancy it too, eh? It'd take a blind man to shrug and turn away. Too true. Meantime, you witches have got especially sharp senses. <laughs> Here's the medicine. It's a strong solution, so careful with the dosage. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most, in three, four days, the infection should recede. I thank you, in Redania's glorious name. Serving the Redanian cause now? I serve individuals. I treat them. That they're Redanians is coincidental. I'd help Nilfgaardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis, Adernian, Elves, Dwarves, Halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. Aside from the incident in the sewers, we last saw each other. Hmm, must have been in Vizima. Um, yes. Yes. When it was ravaged by the Catriona. Feels like a century ago. Where have you been? What have you been doing since? Well, I left Vizima and returned to Oxenfurt, proceeded to finish my doctorate, and then opened a practice. Shortly thereafter, war broke out, and I was press ganged into the Redanian Medical Corps. So what now? Radovid's dead. But the war's not over yet. The chaos continues. I'm still very much needed. Though, I can't complain. At least I live at home now, and I treat the ill, as is my calling. Though, I must always be ready, for at any time the Redanians might knock with some painfully urgent assignment. Shani, I need your help this time. Hmm, I'd guess this wasn't a social call. All right, tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? Ah. Uh... Uh, and you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Hmm, where do I start? All right. Monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad. And this toad was actually a prince, and Ophiri wanted that. Hmm, and I'm a Kaviri duchess. It's the truth, uncolored, I swear. When I killed the toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a maid showed up, captured me. Man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? Hmm. Could be a mage, a demon, or a djinn. You don't know? He's very powerful. That's all I need to know. He helped me out of a bind. Now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother, 
and show him the time of his life. Amuse a ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, then we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorcerers or necromancy involved. Gave me this. Concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a sensor, too. Well, that can be arranged. They keep one in a storehouse at the Academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. But I still don't like this. Neither do I, but I don't really have any options. Gotta summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? Hmm. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Hierarchs, or Famous Rudanian Dynasties. I chose the latter. Here it is. Von Igrid, Von Estekin, Von Everick. Hmm. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. The crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the sensor? We can meet at the entrance. Closer.
Let's go! It's clearing up. Never seen this side of you. What side is that? How do I put this? Your romantic side? Used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials, often covered in blood. Well, that's because you usually come round while I'm at work. Off duty now. Waiting for you, weaving a garland for the wedding. A wedding? Whose? A dear friend's. From the Academy. Speaking of which, would you go with me? Wait, wait. That was your notice? What notice? The one posted by the Seven Cats. Need a bow to accompany me to a friend's wedding. If any intelligent, amusing, handsome, none too old nor none too young man owning at least one decent looking frock... <laughs> no, that's not mine. So, will you go with me or not? Sure, why not? Wonderful. So, it's a date. Remember to bring the sensor? Of course. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for, so I also took a mix of amber, aniseed, and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Thanks. Might come in handy. Shall we? Let's go. The tome was spot on. This is impressive. Yeah. Too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coin to splurge on such luxuries. Ooh, that looks just a little too creepy for me. Don't have to come if you don't want. Wait here. I like that idea. If there's any trouble, just yell. This is no crypt. It's a full-blown mausoleum. Wraiths. Knew this wouldn't be easy.
most of the surprises? Sure hope so. Should look around. shouldn't touch that. 
Vladimir von Everek, son of Bohumil and Christina. There you are, now for the ritual. Gotta spread the incense throughout the crypt, every room. Life and death, fire and blood, arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Return, and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Return, and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Life and death, fire and blood. Time to light the votive fire. Fire and blood, life and death. I summon ye whose blood I have brought. Fire and blood, life and death. You have summoned me, stranger. Why? Name's Geralt. Came to wake the ghost of Vladimir von Everek. Who you are, and why you've come matter little. For you'll not leave this place alive. Are you Vlad's ghost? Who asks after my grandson? It matters not, Honoratina. What I wonder is, how this mortal obtained the family's blood? For Von Everick's rise only for Von Everick blood. True. Yet to my knowledge, only one of our line yet lives. Olgird. Then we converse with the man who spilled the blood of your grandson, Kestetis. Mean none of you are Vladimir? It's Olgird, his brother, who sent me. You will meet Vlad soon enough. Get all geared, you will never see again. You die here, watchbag! Kill him, Von Everett! For all geared's good. Ordinary horse sons, those Von Emmerichs, eh? Who are you? The rogue you seek. Vladimir Von Everick, brother to Olgird. Ugh, oh, forgot I cannot even scratch my stones. Though in point of fact, they've not itched much since I died. Didn't want to fight your family. They started it. I'm dead, not blind. I preferred to see how you'd handle those snobby pricks. And Grandmum, too. Besides, what harm could you do them? They're dead as it is. Now tell me how you came into Old Gird's blood. If you hurt him, I fear I shall have to kill you. Got it from a mutual acquaintance of mine and Olgird's. I'm here on a business. I'm a swithing corpse, with no interest in important matters, yours or any other buggers. The sole thing I miss is feasting, corporal diversion, so to speak. But alas... Get a lot of visitors? At times, not often. For when someone does drop by, the whole band comes out to play. Fun-loving family. True. We're famed for our love of revelry and rumbles. 
We von Evericks have brawled and raided for generations. It's tradition. Naturally, with raids comes loot, so we always had the means to celebrate right lavishly. Towards the end of my life was when things went sour. But no point poking at old wounds. Just days before I died, my brother claimed he'd found a way to dig us out, restore our state. Your brother sent me. How is the old rogue? He, what I wouldn't give to ride by his side again. No chance of that happening. Could experience something else though. Something a corpse should find interesting. Interesting? Out with it. What do you have in mind? Don't mean to pry, but just a little curious how you died. Ah! No need to be shy. Folk love such stories. I'd love this one too, were it not to end with my death. So how'd it happen? On raids, it was our custom to storm the alderman's hut, and then order the local clots to bring us kegs of spirit. And provide willing wenches to squeeze and churn about. Then, sadly, an ambush. Outmanned five to one, we were overwhelmed. They killed me, crushed my skull like an eggshell between an upturned oak table and the stone floor. Listen, it feels like I should know Old Geard better. Tell me something about him. Oh, fantastic chap. A true cavalier. You won't find another like him in all Redania. The best there is for a drink or a brawl. We were pups when we started riding out on raids. Wet behind the ears. Borderland villagers shat their trousers at the very sound of the word Olgeard. I was his second in command, leading a band of rogues who'd ride through fire for us. Sound like common bandits. Any difference? Us? Bandits? Watch your words. True, some of our swordsmen were mindless brawlers, but not Olgeard. Always curious, took an interest in all things. He devoured books, adored paintings, and loved the most beautiful maid in the world. Listen, Olgeard gave me a job. Odd as it may sound, I need to show you the time of your life. Is that so? Now that, sir, is a brother. I've been dead for years, yet he still looks after me, after my spirits. How much time do we have? Think one night should do the trick? Splendid! Wait just a moment while I hoist my saber and... What the blistering devils! You're a ghost. Can't grab things. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting. But how am I to revel and rock and fuck? Can't lift a tankard to my lips. Can't wield a saber. Can't squeeze a wench as we dance a jig. Guess you'll have to do without. Let's go. I go nowhere. You're to see I enjoy myself, correct? Well, then think of a way to make it possible. How? Revive my flesh. No can do. Besides, body's probably decomposed. Then bloody come up with another way. I'll not go anywhere in this state. Hmm. Guess I could bring someone here, and you... You could... Mm, borrow their body, just for the night. You wish me to possess someone? Uh, yeah? Hmm. Say I agree. Whose body would I inhabit? Dunno. One of Olgeard's men, maybe? Or a peasant who'd agree to do it for coin? Oh, no, no, no. I shan't crawl into the skin of some unwashed bandit or dung-eating swineherd. I've a better idea. Oh no, not gonna happen. 
Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Geralt, wake up. Open your eyes. Where are the smelling salts? Death was a small price to pay to lie in a lap so lovely. And so near the wonders concealed a bit higher. Have you gone mad? Yes. As soon as I laid eyes on you, promise to stay and stroke my chin, and I shall spend the rest of eternity in a hound's body, trotting along by your well-turned calves. Geralt? What's happened to you? Geralt? I'm Vladimir. What? Blast. Fine, fine, give me a moment. Yeah, definitely don't like being possessed. You'd not have fainted had you not resisted so fiercely. Geralt, care to explain what's going on here? Sorry about that, Shani. That wasn't me. So who was it? Me? Shut up. I didn't say anything. Sorry, wasn't talking to you. Who to, then? Well, to him. To Vladimir. Geralt, there's no one else here. Seems your lovely maiden friend can neither see nor hear me. Hmm. There's potential in that. Leave Shani out of this. Ah, is that a name? Lovely. A perfect name for a perfect lass. You're testing my patience. As you are mine. Can you please explain what's going on here? Oh, fiery. Temperament matches the drapes. Listen, I'm supposed to show Vladimir von Everek the time of his life. Turned out, he's a ghost. So, willing or not, I gotta lend him my body. Wait a minute. Are you saying you're possessed? Not at the moment. Just now he's standing next to me, coyly grinning at you. But off and on, he'll enter my body. So anything I say or do will actually be him, his mind, his intent. Uh, but what if I want to talk to you, not him? <sighs> well, she should approach me and ask me to jump out for a bit. Just come up and ask him to leave for a while. I see. Splendid! Right then, Sugar Plum. What say you we leave this dank crypt? There's a charming grove nearby where kisses taste sweeter than anywhere else in the world. I take it you're Vladimir now. Doesn't seem like I'll have trouble telling you apart from Geralt. My sentiments exactly. Between you and me. This Witcher fellow is an awful bore. <laughs> Only sometimes. Ha! <laughs> Seems we're kindred spirits. So, off to the nearest hedgerow. I'm afraid I have to turn you down, dear ghost. A shame. In that case, point me to the nearest brothel. I've got a better idea. Just before Geralt entered the crypt to summon you, I invited him to my friend's wedding. Good heavens. That's damn good luck. No better dancer in all Redania than Vladimir von Everek. My ginger muffin. With me, you shall enjoy an evening to top all others. Wonderful. I must stop by my home first and change. So, we'll meet at the temple. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <sighs> Why not? I'm not fond of temples, see? When alive, I'd only set foot in one to loot it. And in death, I find I despise them all the more. Could we not meet, after the ceremony, go straight to the feast? Uh, all right. Seems we've no other option. Splendid. <laughs> then I shall see you at the wedding manor. I must say, Witcher, a man could lose his head for a lass like that. And that comes from none other than Vladimir von Everick, famed for his taste in women. So tell me, honestly now, man to ghost, 
Are you her paramour? For if so, you have my word, I shall keep my distance. But if not, then... <laughs> the Haylofts we shall devastate together. Let's say we were more than friends, once upon a time. <laughs> you try to hide it, but I smell the tryst. I know a thing or two about men, you see. A shame, though. I'd have satisfied her well. But no cavalier would rut in another's garden. So, Witcher, time for the wedding? Let's go. Onward. I'll be right behind you. Keep your paws off her. To enjoy myself. Can I help it that I best like tumbles in the hay with fleshy lasses? This whole witch's life, what's it like? Don't want to know. If indeed I didn't, I'd not have asked. Go on, tell me. You wouldn't like it. Signs. I'd like to try one. What signs? Your Witcher signs. Never done it. Could be interesting. Rather not waste any time. Till the stroke of midnight, what I would rather is what matters. So fast, Roach. Bloody fine mount. Good stats. Powerful rub. Stable boots. Well, well. See you know your horses. I should say so. My two greatest oh. passions in life. Mares and maidens. <laughs> Spooking my horse. Roach doesn't like ghosts. a lovely nest. Now that's fun. Just like the old times when I was alive. Turning your ass around and going back to the wedding? 
I was to have a bit of fun, not a bloody walkabout. Keep this up, and I'll get sole legs is all. Not quite what Olgi had asked for. Fine, we'll go back. That's it, Roach. to wait. This is very romantic. Fuck off. Behold, wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, Raids have been undertaken, at least. True. She looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold! Mean to go in, wearing that. What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? All in all, why not? Ah, that's the spirit! Ah, this'll do wonderfully. Perfect fit. It feels tailor-made. Now, for shoes. One must wear shoes to a wedding. Hmm. And we must be neat. May they draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes, a swan's soft supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one-handed. You're actually quite amusing this way. Be assured. You'll like me even better when you come to know me more intimately. <laughs> How intimately? Enough to get a sense of my assets, my dear. Trust me, they're nothing to scoff at. May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment. 
Then you can jump right back in. Be quick. I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I liked some of that nonsense. What, for example? It would do you good to be more relaxed sometimes. Relaxed? So you think I'm uptight? What I mean is, it would be nice from time to time if you could sit back and enjoy life. Instead of going around solving everyone's problems. But what does... <sighs> I don't understand. Of course you don't. You're as dense as year-old hardtack. Luckily, you've got me. We'll talk later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this will be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone- Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the capping. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. This way, my strawberry. Ah, hello world, I'm back. I'll be damned, a proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions, and a swarm of fair maids. But none compared to you, my dear Rhubarb. Beware of the dog, Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the mutt must be big as a horse. Uh, thanks for your concern, but the doghouse is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. Oh, what a lovely Rowan. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgird and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan Petal, I'd do anything. Killed some monsters! Come, time to meet and be greeted. I shan't stray a step from your side. Time to say hello. Be nice now. You deaf. Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. It's us now. Dearies, blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Thank you, from the bottom of our hearts. Now go, enjoy the feast. Our turn. My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. It's an honor. The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am uh, This is my friend of yesteryear, Geralt of Rivia. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. I adore weddings. The brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could... Righto. I'm sure we'll all have a splendid time. Tell me, Aldona, how is it you and my dear Shani know each other? We met in Oxenfurt. Both studied medicine at the academy. Wondrous times. Over quickly in my case, alas. My family couldn't afford to keep me there. I was forced to return home after one year. It's never too late to pursue an education, my dear. Your husband is certain to help you complete your studies, provide the necessary coin. I don't know. We've not talked about it. Come, Jonas, surely you've not taken Aldona as a mere diversion for the alcove. You will help her, will you not? That is between me and her. 
You needn't butt in. But I'm not. I merely ask. See, I've come to love your wife like a sister. So I ask you as your brother-in-law, will you help her? I'm sure we'll discuss the matter. <laughs> That's my lad. You're a right decent chap. I knew it from the start. Aldona seems a curious choice for a bride. Did she come with a hefty dowry? I assure you, Witcher, my choice had naught to do with coin. Jonas' family is far better off than mine. They have a textile manufacturer. It took a lot of convincing to get Mother to agree to our, as some would have it, mess alliance. Toh, you never told me. Whatever happened to fortune is of no import to me and my family. It isn't. Jonas told me the same. That your background doesn't bother him. Never does. Not at love's first blossoming, but give it time. Five years and you'll find few things that don't bother you. I'm beginning to find what you say bothersome. I don't know where you're from, but in these parts it is rude to insult newlyweds at a wedding. Insult? I'm merely warning you. Know a thing or two about life, you see. <sighs> Geralt and his jests. He has a strange sense of humor. Very strange, I'd say. Aren't you an extraordinary beauty, my dear? Why, thank you. You had your pick of gents, I'm sure. Where is this going? I'm attempting to discern why she chose you, Jonas. Mean you don't approve of my wife's choice? I've no skin in this game. I ask out of pure curiosity. Well, rein it in, or I shall have to explain my wife's choice to you, hands on. Out of pure pleasure. Why so testy, friend? Have I insulted you? Merely told your wife she was a beautiful woman, yet here I'm threatened instead of getting thanks. Have some manners. Geralt, that's enough. She simply fell in love, that's that. Jonas, I'm sure my friend meant no offense. We've chewed the fat enough. Time's a-wasting. Are you, uh, expected elsewhere? Me? Ha! I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few lovely maidens. Perhaps one of them will catch your eye. Oh, that's for damn certain. And perhaps you will catch one of their- It'd be nice, certainly, but I shan't be terribly bothered if it's not the case. Come, let's drink. Too. He arrived, that's certain. I saw him myself. So, if he arrived, why is he not here now? The bloody dog chased him away. Let's Tell go him. kill some monsters. Do you need help? Shani, darling. Oh, you shan't believe what's happened. I'm marrying off my only daughter. Wanted a proper wedding for her. Wild revelry. So I hired a true fire eater. You know, who scoop, sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, I've not seen that sort of trickery. Horribly dear. Diversions of that sort. He journeyed here from Novigrad. But I'll not squeeze coppers on my daughter, oh no. The groom's family have us for paupers, but we'll show them how wrong they are. Seems we won't, in fact, for our fire swallowers has gone as last Yule's pudding. Groom's hound chased him off. That blasted demon. Oh, they sure named it right. Calm yourself, Dumpling. Master Witcher's here now. Perhaps he can aid us. Before I can begin my witcherly investigation, I require guidance, clues. Tell me all you know, everything. Well, the Fire Eater arrived around noon. It is fill of food, not fire. They went for a stroll to air some gases, he said. <laughs> That horror demon saw him and started barking like a thing possessed. Why so? Haven't a clue. Didn't like the man, sent something awry. Perhaps that the man swallowed fire. Animals fear fire. If I feared, it would have fled, not given chase. Damn fool dog. How can you know? But it snapped its chain and chased the fire eater into the woods. Foolish or not, it's our son-in-law's beloved pet. There'll be hell to pay if it goes missing. 
You needn't worry. The Witcher, that is, I, will find this swallower of heated things. Oh, mighty generous offer, but no one knows where to look. Matters not. Witchers, that is, we have our ways. The Flame Gulper, what did he look like? He wore a jester's cap. Typical sort. Ought to be enough to identify him. I shall find him. We thank you, and hope for the best. Uh, awfully nice of you to offer your help, but are you sure you're up to it? You're not actually a witcher, Vladimir. I wish to find this magician. Give it a go, all right? But you cannot help me. I must do it alone. I expect it will be great fun. Ah, <sighs> fine. Don't have to do this, but if I were you, I'd find the dog's tracks, follow its trail. Just a thought. Excellent advice. I'll take it. Shani, Vladimir and I need to find the Fire Eater. If we're not back by midnight, then... Relax. We'll be back in no time. I believe in you. Tally-ho. Adventure awaits. Down there. The hound tore its chain off the wall. Underfed, it seems, or else the ash liquor really boiled the mutt's blood. A bone nod so clean, I've only ever seen two like this. One in an antel, the other when I caught a hen after not eating for a week. Its bowl is chipped. Tried to devour its bowl along with its supper. Daft mutt. A dog made these tracks true, but a small one. And judging by its house, demon is a hulk, but beggars can't choose their tracks. So I shall follow these. Following some dog's trail? Not exactly how I imagined this wedding. I think I'll wait here. Wonderful, my juicy pear. I shall continue my travails while you rest. Shan't be long now. <laughs> How goes the set? No discoveries of note as yet, but I shan't give up. This witcher work suits me swimmingly. A broken branch. As if one too heavy sought to scamper up this tree. Seems our fire eater swallows a great deal more than fire. Or perhaps someone was merely gathering kindling. Ah, there is joy in this ferreting. Missing man, missing mutt. Am I seeing this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. Guess so. You, get down. Oh no, no bloody chance. I value my life. What do we do? Sit. Now that is power. If I'd had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground, that sort of sport. No. Oh, could you be any more of a bore? I'll do it myself. Roll over. Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? Demon, doghouse now. Now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun. Have it at the wedding.
Climb down. Man-eating beast's gone, as you can see. You sure it won't return? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Geralt, this jester is drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Course. Bottoms up. I say, cracking good mead. Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. Fine mead? True. Boar was fleeing a hound. Hound? Boar? It, it was a monster! A, a furry, faggy devil! They chose a fitting name for it. You're a man whose trade is literally to play with fire. How can you fear a tiny runt of a dog? Was a monster! A demon! So you said. You're a stoneless coward, sir. That's that. Oh, beg your pardon. I'm not a coward. I'm cautious. Know what would become of a fiery who paid no heed to caution? Hmm, I suppose he might singe his tongue. Guessed it. So it was that misunderstanding. You can forget about performing in your state. And just what state would that be? Look at yourself, man. You're a tramp, can barely stand, let alone perform. First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. Standing straight ain't a requirement. This may be my only chance to ask. Your fire guzzling trickery, how does it work? Oh, they tossed me out the guild if I told. Except if I took you on as an apprentice. In half a year's time, you'd learn. I haven't half a year. Come, just between you and me. We've drunk together. We're practically brothers. Drank it all yourself. You're no brother of mine. You dare toy with me this way? Very well. Refuse to tell me, and I shall leave you here as a morsel for any passing boars, bears, or bloodthirsty fawns. So choose wisely. This here's a soul. He's suppressing the arts. Out with it. I got, I got a special mixture I drink before every show. After that, I can eat fire, spit fire, do what I please. It don't burn nothing. Is that all? Where's the art in it? Any dribbling imbecile can smear his throat with a protective slurry. I've oh, just about enough of this. First they release the hounds, then come and steal my meat, and now insults. I'm done here. Goodbye. Didn't mean to offend the bloody charlatan. Do something. Now, you're gonna forget everything you've seen, said, and heard in the woods. Wouldn't a smack upside the head help the matter? Put the cheating coward back in his place. No need. You'll go back to the wedding and show everybody your tricks. Oh, your charlatan's tricks. Yes, sir. I'll do as you say. Coming or not? I'm coming. I'm coming. To the wedding, then. Perhaps I'll find some more interesting diversions there. Keep calm. Stay close. I shan't say a step. Wild animals behind every stump in these woods. Yes! Bear! Bear? That? As much as your cock's a tent pole. Hide, you blind fool. Tell me, are bears often boar shaped in your experience? Got weak eyes, see? Besides, I'm a fire eater. Not some damn naturalist. Indeed you are not, Master. I uh, believe I failed to ask. What do they call you? David Altonsborough. Listen here, Master Hattonsborough. Stay close and no harm will come to you. I'll see to it your drunken, fire-spitting gob gets to the wedding safe and sound. The missing fire blower is missing no more. It was my doing, if I may say so myself. And Demon? What's with him? He failed to return. No, he did. 
He's just acting mighty strange. Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a carrot. Might have eaten some nightshade or whatnot. Your attention, please! I invite all to witness the spectacle unrivaled. A man so bold as to eat fire! We must watch the trickery. Never saw anything like it while alive. <laughs> Witcher contract. Done. Fire Eater found. His ass saved. If I could live again, I'd be a Witcher for damn certain. Hey there, handsome. Drink with us. Don't make us beg. We're toasting the newlyweds. Drink with us. I never say no to a lady. To your fair beauty. And to yours, Shani, naturally. Your elf and happiness. Fortune smile upon you, white wolf. <laughs> of all these flowers, you, my dear, are the loveliest. Believe the young man's mistaken me for another. Not at all. I like my women as I like my peaches. Fuzzy and well ripe. That's enough. Get going. You're drunk and randy. Nothing good's ever come of that mix. Is it true elves make soup out of kids? Not a hard time find any work here, Witcher. You're in your kin's humble servant. <laughs> look, 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 look. Munchkin's playing cards. Geralt won't mind. He's wild about cards. Perhaps you care to sit down to some Gwent with us? Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, Midget. Nor need for insults. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Were that true? You wouldn't have called him a Midget? I've apologized. What else would you have me do? Bring him flowers? I'd have you play and stop talking. Let us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. I'm all in. I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose.
your tits up, mate. Slap those asses' ears on your asses' noggin. Oh, such a shame. I'd already pictured you in those ears. Quite the interesting picture, too. I know of other ways to look interesting. I could show you. <sighs> I'll think about it. Time to drink! We are at a wedding! Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed. Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Ah, oh, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. Ah, my kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> In my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. <laughs> faster, faster, <laughs> till we expire. <laughs> And now, a special treat for our special guests. The Witcher Geralt and his enchanting partner, Shani. Musicians, something lovely for the loving couple. At last, music for our loving embrace. Come, Shani. It's time you discovered my romantic side. Good at this. A chair could dance a jig with you as its partner. Oh, how humble you are. I strive to be. Yet should the need arise, I can strut as proud as any peacock. Oh, the perfect combination. Women must love you. Well, not to brag, but... Call it idle curiosity, but how many have you had? Many, and not a scrub hag among them, I should add. Women with true class, all, though none to match your charms. Seems the music in the evening draw to a close. Know how a true dancer thanks his lovely partner. Um, not sure I do. Uh, what are you doing? Have you lost your mind? I have my mind, my heart. We must agree. You can say whatever you please, but you shall keep your hands to yourself. Understood? Don't be upset, my peach. I couldn't resist. I'm not upset. Just... Next time, don't lunge at me like that. I'd had a long fast, so to speak. Hunger overwhelmed me. But yes, next time, I shall ask. Shani, may I kiss you? <laughs> You're incorrigible. Uh, could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What for? He'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a drip. Please. <sighs> Very well. See ya. 
how I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. Geralt, I'm curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Have any control? I feel everything. Don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Well, I probably wouldn't have forced myself on you. Forced myself? It was an innocent kiss, not more. <laughs> I don't know if I should thank you or if that should make me... angry. But don't get me wrong. I've thought about doing just that a few times, but... But what? But I'm not going to talk about it with him here. We can discuss it once he's gone. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Perhaps a bit of thanks is in order. Seems I've snared the little Robin for you. You can shut up now. What's going on now? Nothing. Never mind. Happened to see the man who announced our... your song? Yes. He acted as though he knew me. But we've never met. I was surprised. Who is he? Gontaro Dim, Master Mirror. Wonder what he's doing here. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah, he didn't show up without a reason. Need to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped it on a whim. Promise you this much, he never does anything simply. And certainly not on a whim. Bah! I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes, listening to you talk. I'm going back in. Ah, better. Come, Shani. The night beckons us not to jabber it away. The night is young. Come, let's do something wild. If I may, Shawnee, I'd show you how I cut a jig, nimble as a leopard. Don't let me stop you. Beards grow long, but never tangle round your ankles. To the young lovers, may their loins never cool. May they sire many a them and reap gobs of coin. What sport is this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned King of the Swineherds and win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, lady, maybe. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose? Nay, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. King of the swineherds, eh? And what's this king get exactly? A king's ransom, I would hope. No coin. Honor's the prize. King gets a crown of laurels he pins to his saddle, rides about with pride that he's king of the swineherds. You mentioned some trifles for the lasses. Are they worthwhile at least? For certain! Lovely, every last one. Pretty as a painting. Win and see for yourself. Sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored. Get that cripple out of there! <coughs> Couldn't chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the witcher give it a run.
Shame there's no painter here. It's a moment worth immortalizing for posterity. Watch my movement, Shani. I'm spry as a cat and sly as a fox. I'll show these imbeciles how one chases a porker. Come on, Piggy. Got a nice and cozy pen for you. Stupid swine. If they infuriate me anymore, I'll whack them with a sign. You see that, Shawnee? One pig penned. Feel foolish, peasants? Learned a lesson from your better? Are the pigs penned? Indeed they are. Master Witcher. We ain't seen such pig-chasing skill in a long time. Your family had an ample pen, didn't they? Go on, admit it. My family had many pens. But that in no way means I had any practice chasing pigs. However it were, the crown's going to a good man. And the king's chosen maid deserves a fitting favour. Yeah. Just don't go hiding it in some pouch. Brandish it on your horse so that all folk may see. What do you say to that, Shani? Ever witnessed such agility? <laughs> You're clearly a natural at chasing pigs through muck. You were a joy to watch. How does my heart's captor like the... Uh, prize I won for her? The rag-stuffed piggy? <laughs> it's lovely, truly. I've always dreamed of owning one. Hmm, tell me, Shani. What's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl, that's clear. In Geralt's name and flesh, of course, but still. Yet the more I woo you, the less you seem ready to succumb. So I ask myself, what am I missing? Mm, perhaps you're just not my type. Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one, with the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everek does his thing. Now, who have we here? Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. <laughs> An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. Did it hurt terribly, my sweet? What? When you fell from the heavens. <laughs> Why, sir? <laughs> Shh, my dear. No more words. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? But really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? Then how... <laughs> in Novigrad? Oxenfurt? Why, in Kovir as well? Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything will be made clear. Leslie, step away from the man. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brothers, and we swore to our down his dying day we'd keep those of your ilk far from her. You shan't keep me from anything, filthy hayseed. Lads, 
mutants calling us names. Stand down, swineherds, or Lord Witcher will give you a bloody mighty drubbing. Now where's a plowing fence board when you need it? Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. Fence boards. The perfect weapon for sweaty-assed swineherds. Perfect fit for your gob, you plowing gentle fuck. Never in my life have I reveled so fiercely. Step up. Who else wants a shave? Damned cretin creamed me. Embarrassing to take a licking from a boar. And with a maiden watching. Had enough peasant spawn? Thought yourself a match for a Von Everett? A witcher? Away with you. Begone. I've tired of looking at your slack jaw yaps. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Don't. You must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen, tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. I'm likely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. You do the explaining. Oh, all right. Your methods, quite unusual, to woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. My dear girl, what don't I have up my sleeve? I'd gladly demonstrate. Perhaps behind the barn? Uh, I think you've demonstrated enough. Let's just enjoy ourselves, all right? You don't have all that much time left. Your wish is my command, milady. I'd never deny a maid so fair-featured. Off we go. Ah, so good to shake the kinks from one's bones. We must find more, more fun. Found yourself a perch from which to survey passing bows? What do you mean? My back aches from pounding the churn, so I'm having a... And they said fire burns hotter in an old stove. If I was your age, you'd be singing a different tune. Have you squealing like a kitty cat? Seen what he pulled from the water? An old pot. Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed to fish out my slipper. I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. Tis a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. Oh look, dearie, I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. We'll poke your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. What's all this, then? <gasps> They're playing slip-in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. A man's got to dive in and fish it out. And once I retrieve it? Well, your maid'll be pleased as punch. Or it means you're a gallant bow. And awful handy. Is that all? No prize? Not even a kiss? That depends on the missing question. 
If she wants to give you a kiss, she will. But she ain't obliged. Oh my. Oh, there's more to come. Prime game. Shani, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. Observe, Shani. My eyes are glued. Seems to think the slipping will be easy, don't he? He tilts it a little, but see how big his stroke is. Lucky that pond sank in up to my armpits. Uh, I see no amount of silt could keep you from my shoe. And all the other shoes ever tossed in the lake. Always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret. Mm, that's quite the theory. One founded in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers and she will lift up her skirt and bend over. To don it, of course. Ah, oh, so generous. And clever. Just figuring that out? Hmm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Ah, oh, well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is, on. Uh, thank you. Nothing like a good swim. Now we must do something else. Something wild. Look there, Shani. The ladder begs us to scamper to its top, where we can converse. Uh, then let us scamper. But how so? Just like that? There aren't that many ways to escape. Let's sit. Come now. Just like that. I'm all ears. What would you have us talk about? I I'm sorry, converse about. Well, when it comes right down to it... Yes? You see, the thing is... Come now, spit it out. Um, I... <sighs> yes, just as I thought. Come, it's time we return. But what's just as you thought? I find you intimidating. <laughs> Loudly lowing cows only ever give a little milk. I've only ever dealt with simple maids, whereas you're a surgeon. I believe I was right not to just take you and... Well, I was right to take the more romantic approach. <laughs> oh, all right. Now come, we were to enjoy ourselves. Let's do just that. Romantic.
Barnabit took the order of the flaming rose, punched it. It seems to me I've heard of you before, Whitehead. Oh, come on. Started oh, said, right come on. Come on. Gingerbreads now, but flour, honey, eggs, and spices. I beg to differ, madame. You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread time. What sort of balderdash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. So how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time, you touch it. Let you sniff it, stroke it even. Time. Time is the key. Greetings, Shani. I must introduce myself. Gaunter Odin. My, what a lovely dress. The colour suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. Seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother, that you envied Olgir from your earliest days, and always wished to be just like him. Wait, you can see me? That is, me, Vladimir von Everek? Of course. Why ever wouldn't I? Because I'm in Geralt's body, the Witcher's, and... Just who would I be if the true nature of things remained hidden from me? Someone like you, meaning no one. I wouldn't want to get blood on my damsel's dress, but insult me once more and... You shan't touch me. I know you'd very much like to act like your brother in this situation, demonstrate how manly you are, but let's be honest, nothing will come of it. You're simply not him, no matter how much you wish you were. Rubbish. I never envied my brother. Of course you did. He was a shining role model. Olgierd ran faster, shot truer, lifted greater weights. Olgierd learned to read first, although you tried your damnedest to beat him. As you grew up, he had his pick of girls, whereas you made do with the leftovers. I apologize, Shani. I'm rather sorry you have to hear this. Stop fooling yourself. Charlie isn't here for you. She's here for Geralt. Even after death, you still play the pale imitation. Oh, by the way, Olgierd's a much better dancer. You lying dog. That's my brother. I loved him. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it, I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me, cornered me like a rat. But Olgier told everyone I flew at all five, took them on all at once, alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgier visits my grave, often, pours a drink for me, gets soused himself and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Hmm. Well, perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. Shani, I'm sorry, I... It's all right. That was... Oh, forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? 
Let's go. The night's still young. All lies. Not a word of truth. Don't let it bother you. Olgird was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. Let it go. I believe you. And now, Revelon. Time will wait. I'll leave you for a moment. As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride for the capping. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. G Geralt, there's no need. No need? Why, there's every need. <clears throat> Till now, I'd always considered peasant jollities unworthy of a gentleman. For tell me, who among you would rub shoulders with swineherds if born a noble? I delighted in the beauty of buxom farm wenches, of course, and indeed still do. Given more time, I'd prove this to each and every maiden here. Farmhands are a different story. Never took any note of them. Had one or two groom my mounts. They did this well, but were never worthy of conversation. Nay, not even if you paid me. For one must live by certain principles. Am I right? But this day... This day has changed all. Beneath the muck and dung, a peasant is a man. I understand this, thanks to you. You've still shite all to talk about. But I don't mind anymore. For this, I thank you, and say, you are well loved. It's almost midnight. Time for the capping. Wait, I'm not done. Oh, yes you are. All the maids join in the capping. You're a maid too, Shani. The midnight chime has struck. The capping times are come. What thoughts in young hearts prance? What dreams make young blood run? Be they nice? Be they vice? Of jestily or lordly stance? Out they'll come in this hour's dance. Toast the lovely couple and give them a few weeks. And we'll toast the lovely bed with its pale and puffy cheeks. Don't you mind a song? We don't sing to be unkind. We sing so we can empty yet another sign. Rights will love eternal, right and best beware. Or she'll make you a core gold in the coming year. What's the groom a thing in a storm upon his brow? Must be said, Gallant, Gallant, Gallant Cow! You'll get the cow, lad, the bull, the calf, the hay. So drink and be merry. Teach your wedding day. Whoever caught the garland shall be next to wed. That really necessary. It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at Old Geard's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. You're a good chap, Witcher. Not as dirt, but good. A lovely custom. Blushing maids twirling in dance, their hair swirling freely, their bodices undone, their bouncing... Will you stop? Did you see it? 
Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't! I'm not finished here. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see? She asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more. Or two more. Or as many as you'll give. You seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Geralt think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick, go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. Stop! I beg you! Stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me, and your moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. Don't torture him. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> Gods, what is this? <laughs> Didn't have to make him suffer. Of course I needn't have. But I could. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see, so... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, and it just so happens I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless... What matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade, follow his path. As for me, well... Perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. Not sure I understand. Never mind. I should find Aldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers, or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun.
mead ought to lift her spirits. A sip of something strong never hurt anyone. Question is, will it cheer her up? Here's hoping Shani's a happy drunk. Still here? I thought you had to meet Olgird. You and I see each other so rarely. Figured Old Geard could wait till morning. Brought you some mead. Best medicine for a troubled soul. Thanks. Wedding's still in full swing, but your face. I'd say you were at a funeral. Why so sad? Sad? Not really. It's just... After I caught the garland, I realized something. The years are flying by, yet all I ever do is study, pump stomachs, and reattach limbs. All alone. You got me. For how long? A day? Two? Don't get me wrong, Ed. It's nice, but you come and go. Yet I need someone who'll be there every night when I come home. After a day of bandaging wounds and sewing up guts, I need a good glass and a good laugh with someone who'll help me forget it all for a moment. I get it. And yeah, could never be there for you every day. But I am happy to see you always. And today, I'm all yours. Well, in that case, let's drink to tonight. To tonight. May the moment last. I'm afraid the drinks got into our minstrels. Horribly off key. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. Good idea. Did you enjoy the wedding? Not half bad. Might have even enjoyed myself if I hadn't had to argue with a madman's ghost, be his puppet. Gotta admit though, thanks to him, I did experience a lot of things I might have missed otherwise. Mean chasing a dog through the woods, or brawling, fence board in hand? Forgetting something. There was also a kiss. <sighs> True. Though that was so clearly Vladimir. I nearly forgot you were involved at all. His will, sure, but my body felt everything. Reminded me of the old times. <sighs> Vizima, you mean? Oh, I thought you'd forgotten our whole Catriona story. Epidemics long forgotten, sure. But the romantic bits in that adventure? Don't plan to forget those. You needn't worry about our finances, sir. My workshop... Your business is booming. Good. I'm really to hear it. See, coins tied to torrent. But don't tell the old Battlex. She'd be furious if she learned to let it slip. Never you worry, sir. My lips are sealed as the grave. Us men folk need to stick together. Sir. Sir. <laughs> Enough of that. I'm Vassy. You can call me Da. Oh, thank you, Da. I feel honoured. Let's drink on it. Seems the families are bonding. A bride's father and his son-in-law? Stiff at first, but add drink and they bond or slap each other silly. I was afraid the wedding wouldn't happen at all. Mean the differences in wealth? Mm-hmm. Jonas's family didn't consider Aldona worthy. Clear they love each other, though. Parents usually give in if that's the case. Oh, I don't know. My mother would never accept an unfit beau, even if I insisted I loved him, had chosen him. Doubt your mother's that unbending? You'd win her over, I'm sure. I haven't managed to yet. 
You only ever bring home fiddlers, jugglers, and witchers? <laughs> no, but she'd want me to choose someone wealthy, or with a good trade, well brought up. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Uh, I guess not, but it's hard to find one like that who's still even slightly amusing. That's probably true. Tell that to my mother. She actually thinks I should have found a husband at the academy. But I didn't. Ugh. I'm certain she thinks there's something horribly wrong with me. Oh, please, Shani. It's the 13th century. Women don't go to the academy to find a husband. They go to learn, pursue their passion. You did that. I'm sure your mother appreciates it. You got a doctorate, have your own practice, been at the front lines many times. You're a good person. Not a thing wrong with you. Really think so? Really. Look, the brave brothers. Drank themselves stiff as the boards they tore from the fence. Wonder where the sister is. Couldn't protect her from a cheeky four-year-old in their condition. Well, if they hadn't intervened, you'd have gone for a tumble in the hay with her. She was willing, if you ask me. I wasn't in the mood. Would have resisted, tried to regain control. I think you would have seized the opportunity. I don't need opportunities like that. Mm, changed your style. Let's say I've grown choosy. You say that as if you've already picked. Because I have. Guess who? Gorgeous. Been thinking about that kiss. What kiss? The one Vladimir planted on your lips, with my lips. Just wondering if it would have felt any different without him there. <laughs> that I cannot tell you. Only one way to find out. So, how'd it compare? Definitely rather kiss you alone, of my own free will. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe Vladimir was after more than a kiss. Said so openly, in fact. <laughs> All true. He was very direct, I'll give him that. Which, on occasion, has its advantages. You're right. Can save a lot of time. So, how do you stand today, Geralt? Have some time to waste with me? Or would you rather go back now? Promised you this night. Aim to keep my word. And I aim to be direct. Even more so than Vladimir. Sounds interesting. Interesting is what interesting does. Here's taken. Got a feeling it's about to free up. <clears throat> How did you know? I'm clairvoyant. <sighs> Practically full. Be ashamed to let it go to waste. Besides, we leave it here, a very drunk person could find it, drink themselves into even more trouble. And I swore a solemn oath. First of all, do no harm. You're the medic. Recommendation? Hey, leave some for me. We need to drink fast, before they catch us. Come on, let's hide. Row me to the moon. Got a fly to get to the moon. 
You're dead wrong. <laughs> Look, it's right there, in the middle of the lake. <laughs> what are you doing? What one usually does on the moon. Sorry. Was it that bad? Or have you developed an allergy for me? Uh, I had too much to drink. Awake already? For a while now. Did you know you've gained 27 new scars since we last saw each other? Keeping count? Mm-hmm. I do that sometimes. Did we make it to the moon? Forgotten already? No. Not the sort of thing you forget. Exactly. Sound like you wish you could. No. I certainly won't forget that. And I definitely don't regret it. But I do need to sort it all out in my head. Alone. Shani, wait. Before you go, need to ask you a favor. Yes? It's about Olgird. Seems a mysterious man. Can't escape the impression his story's more complicated than I thought. Could you look into it? See if you can learn something? Sure. Be glad to. Thanks. Be seeing you. Yes. See you later, Geralt. <laughs> 